Hello, I'm Hong Chin. I'm going to talk to you today about this painting here, She Who Holds Time in Her Hands. The most important and interesting fact, a little note of interest here on this painting is, it took me 24 years to finish this painting. And it was all because of she who holds time in her hand. She was showing me the concept of time is very different for some paintings. Anyway, back to the point. She's holding the circle in her hands. The circle represents uh, eternity. And uh, the outer circle represents the first division of eternity into the quadrants of the four directions. And uh, this glyph down here uh, represents zero time. And the two individuals in zero time are Shablanke, one of the hero twins, otherwise known as one artisan, and his friend, Lord of the Sun. So they together represent zero time in the Mayan world, this particular glyph. Well, they're coming over here to visit uh, she who holds time in her hands because she's going to give them a little lesson on how time gets divided. They will take it back to uh, the sacred temples and initiate those uh, who couldn't make the journey into the concepts of time and how time works in the Mayan cosmology. The colors from uh, uh, blue here, uh, yellow green, orange, red, violet, purple, represent the spectrum of, of time and space as it divides into uh, the color and light and frequencies of our world. So they're journeying to the great goddess who holds time in her hands. They will gather the information and return to their own culture to uh, express the information that was gained about time, uh, the stars, the planets, and the relationship they have to the rest of the cosmos and uh, nature's heart.